Welcome to all the viewers this is Dr. Bookworm back with a new video and in this video we are going to discover a fully funded PhD scholarship opportunity in Canada. Yes I am talking about one year Canada graduate scholarships which are announced every year for international students to pursue their PhD studies in Canada. Before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships and exchange programs abroad so let us begin with today's video first of all this scholarship is offered for these Canadian institutions we will see the list of the institutes that are eligible for this scholarship program valued at $50,000 per year for three years during doctoral studies so this is a fully funded scholarship program and a very handsome amount of stipend will be awarded to the selected candidates each month considers three equally weighted selection criteria that includes academic excellence your academic record uh, research potential your previous research projects publications uh, etc will be included in this part and your leadership skills particularly focusing on volunteer skills entrepreneurship skills and other leadership activities that you have been engaged in your educational career will be considered equally uh, for the selection of suitable candidates so coming towards the deadline to apply for the scholarship program which is november 1 2022 i am making this video quite early this year so that you have an ample amount of time to prepare your application while focusing on these three criteria that are the key uh, selection criteria for uh, selection of the candidates. So coming towards the eligibility, Canadian citizens are also eligible to apply, permanent residents of Canada can also apply and foreign uh, citizens including all nationalities are eligible to apply for the scholarship program. Areas of research, there are uh, three major areas of uh, fields of research which are included under the scholarship program. Firstly, the first one is health research. Second one is natural sciences or engineering and the third one is social sciences and humanities. So almost all the subjects are covered under these three headings and uh, the nomination process we will see how to apply for the scholarship program in detail as well. So first of all let us see which institutes are eligible for the scholarship program and how much number of seats are available to each institute for this intake. So this is the spreadsheet for Vanier CGS institutional quotas for 2021-2022 to 23-24. So you can check out your session that is going to be 2023-2024 uh, according to the uh, institute that are mentioned here. So almost all the uh, famous universities of Canada are included and eligible for the scholarship program. Uh, you can find out uh, each of the university and its total quota under this bar uh, so you can see there are several universities which have uh, a very high number of seats like McGill University having 73 seats Memorial University sorry uh, McMaster University has 32 seats uh, similarly University de Montreal has 48 seats and uh, University of British Columbia has 68 seats similarly University of Toronto that is one of the top ranked universities of Canada has 137 seats so you can check out the quota of each university before applying for this uh, scholarship program or admission in the university. Let's move forward to uh, selection criteria. So let me open the selection criteria details. And here we can see that a uh, first selection criteria is academic excellence that will be judged on these uh, documents, your transcripts, duration of previous studies, program requirements and courses pursued, course load, relative standing in the program. And this will be assessed through these sources that is your academic transcripts, academic background, personal leadership statement, institutional nomination letter and common CV. The second criteria is research potential that includes your academic training and relevant work experience lived experience and traditional teaching quality of contributions research proposal demonstration of sound judgment and ability to think critically these uh, uh, criteria will be judged through your uh, documents like work experience section personal leadership statement referee assessment research contributions referee assessment common cv research proposal all these documents will be used to assess your research potential coming towards the third criteria that is your leadership skills 
uh, these will be indicated by your personal achievements involvement in academic life volunteerism community outreach goal achievement self management integrity and other characteristics like social skills and these will be assessed through common cv that you will create and submit for the scholarship program personal leadership statement referee letters and institutional nomination letters so i am discussing these uh, uh, eligibility criteria uh, selection criteria in detail so that you should focus on these three areas in order to increase your chances of selection so let's move forward to the process of application we can see here that the process of application is uh, divided into 14 tasks so you need to complete all these 14 tasks in order to complete your application for vanier cgs application program so confirm eligibility first of all you need to check the eligibility criteria and uh, make sure that you are eligible to apply for this program then moving forward to task 2 that is contact your desired nominating institution it is important to know that to apply for the vanier scholarship you first need to get acceptance or pre-admission letter from the institute that is eligible in the quota of vanier cgs program so you will make contact with your relevant professors from the institutions that are eligible for vanier cgs program and have seats for this session specially and then uh, get a pre-admission letter from your relevant institution uh, you cannot apply directly for the vanier cgs program your university will assist you for your application uh, submission for vanier cgs program register for a searchnet account create canadian common cv ccv account and complete the self id questionnaire so you need to create an account register yourself here then create a cv in the canadian common format that is specially designed for uh, to apply for canada you need to fill up all the information including your uh, educational information your personal information contact details your research experience and every other detail will be mentioned here to create your canadian common cv once you create your cv you will uh, submit this uh, register and complete your account you can apply either for uh, health research you can also apply for engineering and natural sciences and you can also apply for social sciences research so after completing your cv create ccv vanier banting academic template and link to research net application so research net application is basically the online application that you are going to submit for uh, vanier cgs whereas uh, the ccv is the special format uh, cv that you will create and link with your research net application start a research net application after completing your ccv you will move to the actual research net application you will make login here on the on this link you will simply click here and make login uh, then find funding opportunities apply for funding and then select vanier cgs application then you will identify your area of research as i have told you there are basically three areas in which this scholarship is offered first one is health research second one is natural sciences or engineering third one is one is social sciences and humanities so i belong to biotechnology so i will be choosing natural sciences and engineering in order to apply for the research net application moving forward to task 7 here in this part you will prepare some documents including personal leadership statement leadership reference letters research contributions and special circumstances if you have any special ability uh, all the details about each of these documents is mentioned here so you need to read out all the details in order to understand the requirements and format of each of these documents after completing these documents you need to identify your referees uh, every applicant will identify the referees that will submit their recommendation letters through research uh, net application online application then moving forward to enter degree information the task collects information on any degrees qualification certificates or licenses in progress as well as on the degree for which support is being requested so you need to provide all the details of, of, of your previous degrees as well as the degree which you want to pursue uh, on the vanier cgs scholarship enter proposal information in this part you will provide the details about your research project that you are going to pursue in canada including your project overview project details project descriptors and at attachments again the details of uh, this document and each part of this document can be read out here so you can read it out yourself and understand how to prepare the research proposal moving forward to the next task that is 11 uh, attach other application materials 
uh, all other application materials like your certificates experience letters and rest of the information will be attached as documents uh, pdf files in this part of the application all right coming towards the task 12 that is to confirm document sense up to date official transcripts of the applicants complete academic record must be sent to the proposed nominating institutions you can read out further details here as well uh, then task 13 preview application materials whatever you have submitted including your ccv and all other documents in pdf should be reviewed and uh, confirmed that all the details you have applied are available in your online application consent and submit application finally you will provide your concept and consent to provide uh, and share all your information with banner cgs and your nominated institute and click on submit to submit your application task 15 presentation standards for attached documents so these are the uh, details about the formats of each document that you need to attach or submit in your online application once you submit your application then you will uh, move towards this information that is post application after you have submitted your application to the nominating institution the activity will move to completed activities tab you will not be able to make any changes to your application after you have submitted your online application if application is returned to you by the institution if the faculty of graduate studies returns the application to you you will receive an email from ResearchNet containing their comments you will be given a revised institution deadline date by which you must resubmit your application so if your application ha is incomplete you will be uh, contacted by the institution and uh, provided a deadline so you can resubmit your application later uh, by that deadline if application is selected to be nominated if the nominating institution nominates your application institutional officials will electronically approve and submit your nomination to when your cgs competition you, you will receive an automated email from ResearchNet acknowledging receipt shortly after the nominating institution deadline date if you do not receive this confirmation email you should contact the faculty of graduate studies to determine the status of your application and nomination so um, every institution this deadline may vary so you need to uh, abide by the deadline of your institution that is going to nominate you for vanier cgs once you are selected by the institution they will make your nomination in the vanier cgs and you will be informed if you are not informed then either you are not selected or either you need to add something in your application so this was all about vanier cgs scholarship program you can simply go to the list of institutions and first of all check the availability of your relevant degree program make contact with the professor and get a pre-admission letter then ask your institute to uh, to facilitate you to apply for the vanier cgs graduate scholarship with that this is dr bookworm signing off thank you